Hey y'all, welcome back to Kitty Lynch's Nest. Today we got us a seafood boil. Let's say our grace and get into this muck mine. Thank you, Lord, for this meal that I have received. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <music> some crab legs here two lobster tails some scallops in the front a couple eggs and some sweet peppers and i got some of my nessa sauce back here y'all we about to eat your girl is hungry this is my first meal of the day so i hope everybody is doing good i want to welcome all my new purple gang thank you to be love who shared my taco uh mukbang out and I think we had like 7.3K right now, so I appreciate it. I think I got about 150 new subscribers, so I appreciate y'all. Welcome to the Purple Gang and all the Purple Gang that's returning. Make sure y'all welcome them down in the comments. Let's eat y'all, because I'm hungry. And we got a story time. A little story time. I ain't getting no thumbnail, y'all. So let me do my thumbnail real quick. So hopefully this will be cute. And I'll try to take one in between there. So I hope y'all doing good. Y'all, I'm feeling good. It's beautiful outside. It's about, um, it's about maybe uh, eight o'clock. And this is my first meal of the day. And I've been waiting to eat with y'all, okay? And I hope y'all can see my Nessa sauce up in there. Yes, all that goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's good, y'all. So yes, y'all, we growing over here. I'm so excited. A huge thank you to be loved. She popped up in my live the other day and shared out my video. So I truly, truly appreciate that. Yes, I do. Oh yeah, y'all. And I got some, if y'all didn't check out my mukbang, uh, not my mukbang, but my live, the other day I made some um, cauliflower rice and some screen, um, cream spinach. So I got that there as well to go along with my meal. I'm gonna take this down, y'all, so I can get to my butter. And yeah, so y'all can see me in this butter. I don't think I ever had scallops on my um, channel before. So yeah. Ooh, look at that there. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Now that's good right there. That is super good. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I ain't even exaggerating on that one at all. Hopefully y'all can't hear my neighbors. They super loud. I can hear them talking, so I know y'all can hear them talking. But I hope not. We're going to get into this lobster tail so I can get into there. That spinach. Yep. But I figure since we're growing over here, I need to reintroduce myself. <laughs> ah. So everybody know who I am and why I'm here on YouTube. So we'll talk about that and then get into our super natural uh, story time. I actually got two of those experiences, but I'm only going to share one today with y'all. There y'all go. Take y'all back. 
for that lobster tail. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I got me a little champagne on the side and some water, y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all, this is delicious. And being my first meal of the day, seafood, I don't feel guilty. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all. Woo, that's that spinach. I don't know how much I'm eating this. I just wanted something green up here to, to eat on. But it's still good. I've been eating it for two days, y'all. <laughs> it was so good. So good. So that's the last of it. Mm, got some on my shirt. So that y'all know, I'm Keto Licious Ness. You can call me Keto for short. Or Nessa. Whatever one. Whichever one. Or Ness. Uh, suits you. But I've been here for um, about a year and a half now. And I came to YouTube to share my keto experience, y'all. I've been on keto to be two years in September. So that was my main purpose of coming to YouTube, was to show people my keto journey. And how good you can eat and still lose weight. But it's a journey, as I said. It's my lifestyle, and it's a struggle at times. So y'all will see me cheat sometime here and there. I'm trying not to, because I got goals to meet. But I'm not the poster person for taquito. <laughs> I'ma tell you that now. Mm -mm. Y'all, this sauce is amazing, okay? But yeah, so that was my main purpose for coming. So that y'all can share this journey with me. Because it's truly a journey, okay? I'm a full-time mom of four. And um, uh, soon to be grandma in September. So I'll be bringing vlogs to y'all. And just my life and what's going on. So you might see a little bit about anything on this channel. I'm always very transparent with you. When I'm not doing good, I let you know. I keep it all the way 100 over here, okay? <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoy and keep coming. Mm. You'll see some Mary Kay products. I'm a Mary Kay consultant. My link is always down in the description. I try to do my own little commercials and put in here. <laughs> so, I just bring you a part of me, a part of my life, and I share that with y'all, and I hope y'all enjoy I also came to YouTube to spread, oh, I don't want to get my tooth, to spread awareness about domestic violence. I lost my best friend, T-Baby. Mm, messing my whole shirt up. I lost my best friend T-Baby to um, domestic violence. So not only did I lose her, but for uh, six months before that, I had my own domestic relations incident, <clears throat> domestic violence incident, I'm sorry, where um, me and my boy, then boyfriend got into it and something was thrown at me and I almost lost my sight in my right eye. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And six months after that, my best, we lost my best friend. And I'll put that story time up here below, I mean above y'all, because I do tell the whole story about that. If you want to get into um, listening about that story. So that was my other purpose of being here too, is to spread awareness and not let my best friend die in vain. If I can save one person from going through the trials I went to went through and what my best friend went through, I've done my job here. So again, I'm very transparent with y'all and I give y'all close and personal of me, you know? and how I came out of that three years ago. It's been three years since we lost her. So that's my other reason to be here, to never let her, sh her shine die. When I tell y'all she was a free spirit, she loved everybody, tried to help everybody but she was a Gemini like me. <laughs> so she was feisty too. And she spoke her mind all the time. Yes, she did. <laughs> and she loves seafood too. And just like me. Y'all, this is so good. So yeah, that's pretty much what brought me to YouTube. And it's pretty much just taking on a life of its own. And I'm loving it. I love being here with y'all. Y'all encourage me to keep on my keto journey when I'm ready to give up. <laughs> so I'm here to encourage men and women to continue on whatever journey it is. Yep. Don't give up. Keep going, even when it get hard. Because it gets hard. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how these crab legs come right out. <laughs> Don't show me I'm not crab leg. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I cooked them in the oven. My shirt breezy as hell, but that's all right. That's all right. So, the second part of what brought me to YouTube is takes us into our story time. And it's a story time about my best friend, T-Baby, and her spirit. And everybody don't believe in supernatural or believe in spirits and things of that nature. Um, I'm not a person that's out here chasing spirits or <laughs> nothing like that. But some supernatural things have happened to me in my life. All right. I was... I got to um, clean the closet, cleaning my closet, coming to y'all. And as I was cleaning it, my closet, I found something that told me I need to come to y'all with this story time and y'all might enjoy it. I was even telling T-Baby's uncle about it when he moved me a couple months ago. And I've told people about this story, too. So I just wanted to share it with y'all. So, again, and it's about, let me put this up here. Hopefully it'll be in frame. I'm going to scoop this back because I can't see what's going on. But it's all about this candle right here. 
Let me set it right there. So, and May of 2017 is when we lost my best friend. And after we lost her, of course, it was very trying for me and her family. My kids, my family, because she was family. She was my best friend for over 20 years. And I could not go back to my house that I was living in after we found her. I went that night after we found her. But after that, I packed up clothes and I never went back to my house, y'all. She was there the day before she was murdered. And it wasn't only just that, but her husband knew where I lived at. And he was kind of threatening, not even kind of, he was threatening to the family and doing things that he shouldn't have because they didn't arrest him immediately. They had to get proof. So he was free for about a month and a half before he was actually um, took into custody. So needless to say, I didn't feel safe at my home. So, when I tell you I was jumping from house to house, I um, was staying with family, one of my friends. I was staying in her house with her and her husband. Um, my daughter's house, my aunt's house, my cousin's house, whoever house I could lay at until we bury her. I just, I could not stay at home. I couldn't stay alone. I was terrified somebody had to sleep next to me. It was really rough, y'all. I don't want to even cry in this video because it just take me back. But needless to say, I was terrified. I had never been through anything like that before that were, you know, that close, how it just happened. But um, I was staying with family. My daughter was living in the apartment complex that I just moved from. And I actually went over to stay at her house for about a week. And as I was laying in her bed, I was laying there like, hmm, this is a nice, nice little apartment. You know, <laughs> I could do this. So I never went back to my place and I ended up moving across the hall from my daughter, which was perfect because I was so scared to be by myself. Not even just because of that situation. I was just leaving my relationship that had just ended because of what had happened to me, you know? And after finding my best friend, there ain't no way in hell I was about to stay with who I was with. So, um, I end up, long story short, I end up moving in across the hall from my daughter. And my daughter stayed with me. She would stay over the night, every night and sleep with me. That's Deja, the one that's pregnant. She would stay in my bed. And she did that for about two weeks. So after we, a little bit, I think before, because I moved in my place before we buried. No, I moved in my place after we buried T-Baby. And um, so about a week after we buried her, you know, she like mom, right across the hall. At this point, she tired. She ready to go get in her bed, <laughs> okay? And so, like, she love her mama, but... She tired of sleeping with me and she wanted to go get in her uh, bed. But my kids were so supportive, so supportive, you know, and this was their auntie, you know, this was somebody that was there since they was babies and little. So anyway, she ends up going home. I had a barricade up to my door yard and you know, I end up feeling comfortable in my bed and it was okay. But one night, and this was three years ago, so I can't remember exactly when, how long after we buried her, but 
one night I went to sleep and I felt something. You know how you laying in your bed and you just feel like the covers move? I feel like I got food. I do got food on my face. You feel like the covers move or like the bed, like somebody sit on your bed and it, it goes down. My bed did that. <laughs> yeah. And because I have had a supernatural experience before with somebody that I um, truly loved, I kind of knew what it was, you know? Look at that right there. Mm -hmm. My post shirt. So I kind of knew what it was, y'all. And of course it freaked me out. <laughs> it freaked me out so bad. And as I was sitting there, I'm just like, Lord. And I look out, of course I don't see nobody. And what we all do, I put my head over my over my the cover over my head. And I close my eyes and it happens again. At this point, I try to let it go. The next day, I go to sleep and it happens again. At this point, I know who it is. I know it's T-Baby. And I say to myself, I don't care. And I say it out loud. I know it's you. And I'm glad you're here. I love you. But please, don't touch me. <laughs> I told her, just sit there. I love you. And she did this, y'all, for about two weeks. When I would talk to her, sometime I would just lay there and just think about things. But I don't want to cry. But I would just talk to her and tell her I'm so sorry that that happened to her. And she didn't deserve it. But she did that for like about two weeks, y'all. And... And then it just stopped. And, you know, I didn't really think much of it. You know, I was trying to get back to some kind of normalcy in my life. Which took some time. But a friend of mine came by one day. Now, we were just sitting there and she, you know, came to check on me and we were talking. And... I was telling her about how T-Baby would come to me. And I said, she haven't been here in a, in a while, you know? So it's a little weird, you know? So I was just like, you know, I think it was just her, you know, she was lost, you know? she It happened so unexpectedly. Of course, she didn't plan to leave her kids. She didn't plan to leave us, her family. She was lost, you know? That's what I felt, that that's what it was. But, um, about, so that was probably like the weekend. Lord, no, nothing didn't just fly out here. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. It's been a fly, fly. It's been stuck in my blinds. And I guess he decided to come out. But anyway, before I have to kill something around here. <laughs> um, so that was like the weekend she stopped by. So on Fridays, Friday seemed to be really hard for me y'all them was the days that i always thought about her and i just was thinking it's friday i can't call my girl we can't kick it and see what's up you know i just was like this is just crazy on fridays it just used to hit me hard so this particular friday the same week after i had talked to my friend that friday 
I came home from work. I was driving home from work and I was thinking about T-Baby like, damn, what I'm gonna do? You know, it was just like I was lost. I didn't, you know, even though I had family and friends, my family and friends was around, but when you lose somebody like that, it's, it's precious and it, it, it just, no matter what somebody does, that void can't be filled, you know? So I was driving home and I was thinking about her. Um, I um, walk in the house and my door, bedroom door was closed. My bedroom door is always closed. When I leave out, I'll close my door. So that was nothing new. I walk in my bedroom, y'all. And immediately I smell an aroma that is so beautiful, so beautiful. I'm just like, it just threw me off. And then I look on my dresser and this candle right here is lit. And I'm thinking to myself, okay. The twins not here, you know, they, it was a day for them to go with their dad. And Deja, nobody's in my house. So I called Deja, who lives across the hall from me. And I asked her, did you come in my house and light a candle? And she said, Ma, no, I'm at work. I went to work and I haven't been in your house. I've been at work since 2.30. At this time, it's like 5.30, 5.15. I called the twins and I said, did y'all come home from school? They said, no, our grandmother picked us up. We haven't been home. So at that point, panic comes in my body and I'm just thinking like somebody been in my house. But then eventually like a, a calm just comes over my body and the scent is just so beautiful. And this candle already smells beautiful but the scent was so beautiful and i just broke down in tears because i knew it was my best friend trying to let me know she was okay and she had went over to the other side i know it was her nobody had keys to my house but my children and they confirmed they had not been in my house the candle had just got lit you know when a candle started to get lit it kind of goes down it had just start, it had just got lit and it hadn't, maybe a 30 minutes to an hour tops, maybe it had been burning. And I had been at work for eight hours. So it wasn't like I had lit it that night and forgot. It would have burnt out by then. This candle was not lit at all. So, uh, I, it, it just, it freaked me out, but I knew because again, I've had an experience like this before. It wasn't as, as scary and as hard as the other experience kind of, you know, threw me off, which I'll probably do that story time. Y'all let me know if you want that story time. So later on that night, I, went, I blew the candle out that night and um, I went to sleep. I had had a bed, a bathroom in my room at my um, old place. So I got up to go to the bathroom that night. No, it was probably like maybe five in the morning or something like that. When I got up to go to the bathroom, and again, I made sure I blew the candle out that night. When I got up at five that morning to go to the bathroom, my candle was lit again. At that point, I never blew it out. <laughs> I never blew it out. I let it burn till it couldn't burn no more. And this is it, y'all. And I refuse to throw this away. And it's still, that's, that's scent, y'all. It's so beautiful. I don't want to cry. I don't want to. But that's it right there. Whew. It's beautiful. 
So I know a lot of people don't believe in supernatural, but nobody can explain to me why a candle was burning in my house and nobody came in and burnt the candle. Nobody can tell me that. Nobody can tell me how I blew a candle and I know it was blown out and wake up hours later and it's lit again. So I know it was my best friend. I know it was her trying to let me know that she has crossed over and she's good. She's with her other two babies. And it was time for me to get my life in order and get it together. So that's why I'm here, y'all. I'm here just sharing my journey and just let y'all know, no matter what you go through, Life can be so hard and sometimes devastating. But there's sometimes people out here that got it worse than you that you would never even think about. And you got to pick up the pieces. You can't sit in it. You have to keep moving. You have to. And I'm just so blessed that I have good family, friends, and children. My best friends family they still take to me like i'm part of their family i've been there their whole 20 25 years i know some of them, some of them since they was babies so you know they still love on me so i'm just blessed y'all just so happy and happy to have this platform and have y'all to share this experience share my journey with <laughs> i don't mean to come on here and be a cry baby i haven't did this in a minute so but i hope i didn't scare y'all with this story time <laughs> oh goodness i'm trying not to get a ball out cry i hope i didn't scare y'all with this experience but i just want y'all to know the supernatural does exist i do believe spirits exist i do believe it you know so sometimes you got to listen to them you know some people have told me about some evil spirits and thank god i pray i never had those issues but you know i'm just blessed that i had that experience with my best friend and she let me know that she was okay and i know she's doing good she's over everything that i'm doing everything that i'm doing she got my back so i love you t baby always always so, I'm going to get my crybaby cell phone up out of here, y'all. <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoyed this mukbang. I hope y'all enjoyed my story time. Sorry I cried through pretty much the end of it. But, my food was delicious. My son probably about to come in and tear all the rest of this up. So, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me, being with me, just taking this journey with me. I love y'all so much. Keep it key delicious and until next time. Peace. I love y'all. Bye.